What if, in the heart of Enford on Bagley, there was a village? Hiya, I'm Nee, and welcome to a new video. Today is the very first episode on the Enford on Bagley village. So, I've had this idea for a while of building a village kind of community kind of place, like a little town in the heart of Enford on Bagley because it's just my favorite world. And this is the very first episode. So, as you guys just saw, that is kind of the map I mapped out for myself. I went in with that little wide fence from, I think it's Strangerville, and I just went to town mapping out what I wanted this village to look like. And at the moment, it might not look like anything to you guys, but I promise it will come together. So basically every little shape represents like a different building slash home slash whatever we want this community place to have. And so far in this very first episode, I'm just going to be mapping out kind of the roads, like the streets that our residents are going to be walking on, like kind of this town square kind of moment that is like at the center of this village and just really making it look like something at the moment because we don't have the buildings quite yet. I actually want some suggestions from you guys for what you want to see in this village. I would love to build anything that you guys would like me to build as well because I want this to be kind of a community effort on our on our side as well. So, so far we only have kind of the exterior of everything. So I went to town with mapping out where we were gonna have the roads slash streets and I wanted them to be gravel so it feels a bit more like quaint and like a little village and I went to town adding these little like pedestrian crossings and I think it just looks so good and it just really brings that realism forth in The Sims 4, even though obviously this is just kind of decoration, but I think it looks great actually. I really, really enjoyed doing this first episode. I just had a blast. And I just feel like this is kind of what I am missing in The Sims, this element of just making whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to make, you just make it. If you want a little town, and especially with For Rent, now the possibilities are a bit like better for us. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to have a little town and have your Sims living in this town, you can. Nowadays with the For Rent expansion pack and all that it brought forth, you can absolutely rent a little place here, possibly a home, and have everything else be a shared space, which will still make it functional and you'll have other Sims kind of living in the same places and just doing their own thing so I really really wanted to do this now that we have for rent and now that we can finally have this in the game I just wanted to make a little town and make it really quaint and like a small little village where everyone kind of knows everyone and it's just I want to have a blast playing here as well the inspiration for this town is obviously going to be here in England because I live here so I want to obviously build something that is familiar to me and that I see in real life I suppose. I have lived in a really small town myself, a little small village and it just, it is great and I miss that kind of vibe to be honest in my life so I had a blast building this. So yeah, we've started with the roads as I mentioned, there's a little entrance to our village that's using the little sign from the, uh, what is it? The ranch pack, yes, <laughs> the Sims 4 ranch pack. And I'm going around placing lots of lights and those lights are from uh, cottage living actually. So I use lots of cottage living. I want it to keep still in place with the world we are in. And it just fits that small village aesthetic as well. And I went in and I placed some signs, just some road signs. So you can imagine that it says like the center of the town over there. And for this place you have whatever. And I placed a couple of little bus stops because in the cottage living expansion pack we got a debug item that looks sort of like a bus stop so I used that kind of around and I will be adding a little bus and just I wanted it to feel like very realistic and lived in and like very like something you can see actually in real life so I wanted to add those realism points like the drains for example I added drains everywhere and just the signs I will be adding some more signs and some like almost traffic signs as well to kind of guide our passengers around in this town 
But yeah, it was so fun. I'm adding a bit of greenery at the moment. And this is where the little town square is. It's just like a little, I imagine like a park of sorts. It's not an actual park. It's just like the center of the city where people can come around and just sit down. I'll maybe include some chess. I don't know. I want you guys to give me suggestions for absolutely everything. Whatever you want to see in this town, please do let me know because I will absolutely be building. Like anything that you guys tell me at this point. But yeah, here in this corner, I just love this vampire's fence. And actually I have a plan for this little corner. I imagine that just there at the back is like a little church moment with like a little tiny graveyard, just something a bit quaint and a bit like, if you're doing some sort of legacy play, maybe you have some graves from your sim, so maybe you could add them at the back, but yeah. Going around, adding some seating, adding lots of little seats everywhere because this is still quite a big lot. This is a 64 by 64, which I think it's perfect for this kind of idea. But you definitely still want to have some places for your sims to kind of sit down and hang about. But yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. I kind of have an idea what I want in certain places, like to the little plots, it's like four little plots to the left hand side, and I definitely think that's gonna be like a bit more like just regular houses and like just where our residents are gonna be living, and I think that's what I wanna tackle next. And I think to the right hand side, it's probably more like the center of the village, like the high street where you have, oh god, I love. I love that telephone box. Oh, it's so stunning. I wanted to have that like front and center. As soon as you come into the village, you see the phone box and it couldn't be more British than that, to be honest. This is a little parking space. I think you could say it might be a parking space for like the church that's gonna be over there or maybe for the residents, I don't know. I even added a packing, parking meter and you'll see that when I go in and do a bit more details, but yeah. I love the realism of having cars parked and like a little actual parking space for them that you actually have to pay because the government wants to steal from everyone. But yeah, that was the bus. That was me adding the bus. I know it is green, but I go back to red because I just felt like I was robbing everyone of something. Like the bus needs to be red. Come on. It cannot be green. So yeah, I go back and I change it back into red and you'll see that just at the end when I do the little tour. I just added a couple of cars around as well, just for a bit more realism. A couple of post boxes. I know we have the red post box. Oh yeah, there's the street signs. I know we have the red post box from Cottage Living, but that's kind of like something that needs to be on the wall. So I also wanted to add the little post boxes that you could just put on the ground normally. But yeah. I'm so excited to be continuing with this little like series. I definitely want to have lots of suggestions from you guys. Definitely want to build kind of different things, not just, for example, the homes and the church and whatever not. Let me know what you guys would like to see, what kind of shops I should include, because I want to know what you guys want to see here, obviously. A little clock for the village. I thought it was very appropriate. That's from Get Together. And yeah, I'm honestly so excited to continue. I think I'm gonna do a little children's park over here in this corner. It just is calling for me. That's the parking meter that I've mentioned. Still going around and adding a couple more signs and just making it feel very like realistic to what a small town would feel like with lots of like signs and like this I imagine is like a little community board where everyone comes together and adds kind of the stuff that is happening in the little village. And it just, it feels very appropriate for Henford on Bagley because I already think that this is kind of a small world, not small in scale, but like a world that is a bit more reserved maybe. So I feel like this village just kind of really plays into it. But yeah, guys, this was the first episode. This is what I've built. This is kind of what we have going on. So yeah, to the right hand side, I imagine this is going to be more of like the high street and to the left where you see those four little rectangles, this is what I want to build next, next week. These are going to be the homes of our residents. So yeah, that is what we are going to be building next week on the channel. So yeah, let me know what kind of houses you would like me to build, what kind of people do you see living in those houses, any kind of quirky things you want me to include, please let me know in the comments, okay? Thank you so, so much for watching. Please let me know what you think. Leave a like, leave your comments of what you wanna see next. And of course, subscribe, because that would really help me out a lot. But yeah, guys, thank you again for watching. Stay for the tour and bye-bye.